Hi, I'm Gajendra Kothari, a chartered financial analyst and the CEO of a leading wealth management firm based out of Mumbai. Today, in the tax video series by Kendra HSBC Life Insurance Company, let's first see what the usual allowances are and then try and understand how they are taxed or tax exempted. House rent allowance, HR is offered to meet the residential rent requirement of the employee for its accommodation. You may claim the least of the following as HRA exemption under Section 10, Subsection 13A of the Income Tax Act. The first, total actual HRA received from the employer. Second, rent paid minus 10% of salary that is basic plus DA. And the third, 40% of total salary that is basic plus DA in non-metros and 50% of the salary, again basic plus DA in metro areas. The least of the three can be claimed as HRA deduction. The next item is leave travel allowance. LT is offered for traveling anywhere in India. Deduction on the fare cost is provided to some extent and the balance is taxable. You can claim LTA twice in a block of four years. In case an individual is not able to utilize this exemption within the block, he or she could carry forward the same to the next block. LTA only covers domestic travel and not the cost of international travel. The mode for such transport can be railways, air travel, or any other public mode of transport. Education allowance. Employees are given certain education allowance to educate the children in India. An amount of rupees 100 per month per child for a maximum of two children is available for exemption. Any amount that is above this amount is taxable in the hands of the employee. Hostel allowance. A maximum amount of rupees 300 per child per month for a maximum of two children can be availed as hostel allowance deduction under the Income Tax Act. Standard deduction of rupees 50,000 is allowed for salaried individuals. This subsumes the earlier allowance of medical and transport convince that was offered to the individual employees. Food coupons. Meal coupons such as Sodexo meal coupons are exempt up to rupees 2,200 per month or 26,400 rupees per financial year. Mobile reimbursements, books and periodicals. Tax-free reimbursement allowed to an employee is the lower of the bill amount or the amount mentioned in the salary package. I hope this video has helped you understand the various allowances mentioned in the salary structure and the tax implications on the same. Thank you.